guys this Let's chicken recipe is the only recipe you need this festive period guys aside the fact that i'm using chicken you can also use this for turkey this is so good the chicken looks yummy and it is super super juicy guys i can't wait for us to delve right into it and for you to also try it out and let me know how it works for you because guys your game on your chicken is about to be lit <laughs> Okay, here are all the ingredients we're going to be using. I'm going to be introducing you to them shortly. And guys, these are ingredients that you can really find in your supermarkets or in your open markets. They are not hard to find at all. And for the ones that you cannot find in your location, I'll be sharing alternatives that you can use. Now, first off is of course the chicken. You want to have your chicken, whole chicken. The inside has been cleaned, so you want to take a of that. This is your tangerine or your clementine and then some red bell pepper some onions i'm going to be using two onions for this recipe and about 200 grams of butter you want to use this delicious luxury butter next is a mix of herbs i have sage thyme rosemary and basil now you can always replace with whatever herbs are available to you i'll be using carrots and then this garlic mix then i'm going to be using our homemade paprika and guys that's basically most of the ingredients we'll be using you want to pat your chicken dry first and the reason why we are doing this is you do not want moisture on that skin what moisture does is that it's not going to allow all the ingredients and the marinade to enter into that chicken so that's why you really want to pat it dry i'm doing this for both the front and the back of the chicken so you also want to clean the pan where you are placing it next you're going to take a spoon like this and you're going to separate the skin from the flesh just as you can see me do here now what are we trying to do we want to create some space because as size marinating your chicken with some lovely cheeses for which we're going to build up you want to ensure that you put it also under the skin so your chicken can be juicy this Let's is a secret that magic. most people don't tell but guys you see the juiciest chicken is because this was done and here is a very easy way to do yours make sure you don't tear the skin because you don't want all that juice leaking out you want it to be sealed under the skin of your chicken i'm doing this for the breast and i'm also doing it for the thighs of that chicken once that is good to go i'm going to keep my chicken aside and bring out my herbs now for my time i'm going to be taking out the leaves like this because again you don't want the stem in your mix right so here is me taking out the leaves off and then i'm also going to be doing the same thing for my rosemary recall i mentioned rosemary is also a part of the ingredients Please note that for full chicken, this is the exact measurements of herbs that you need. You don't want it to be too much so it doesn't overpower the entire marinade, right? I've done that for my rosemary and then for the other herbs, I'm going to be slicing them. Now guys, dice them into small pieces as you can see me do here. I've already cleaned them. They are washed and I dried them with paper towel. So that means they are good to go and there are no deaths. Bring out your butter and your butter should be at room temperature. It shouldn't be frozen because I'm going to be mixing Why that it's going to serve as some of the main components of this marinade next is this delicious sweet imported yeah. orange guys this is just so good i prefer to use this compared to our local orange because this is super juicy and sweet and you want that citrus boss in your chicken now i'm going to set that aside and i'm going to also dice my carrots again i peeled the skin of the carrots so that you can take out all the dirt and here is me just prepping all the ingredients for my chicken filling. Yes, this is what is going to go into that chicken to make it super tasty and super delicious. Next is this bell pepper. You can do a mix of red, green, yellow, whatever is available to you. But recall that it depends on the size of the chicken you're using because you do not want to put in too much of the filling and make it spill out while you are grilling, right? So I'm dicing this into smaller pieces and I'm doing that also for the other half of the bell pepper after carefully deceiving it. Once this is ready, I'm going to set everything aside and then I'm going to take a tablespoon of my paprika. I'm going to pour that into that mix, putting your garlic mix also. I'm going to use about three spoonful of my garlic mix because it has so much goodness and I love how this just combines with the entire marinade. You can use about two tablespoons but if you are a garlic lover like me, please use three tablespoons as you can see me do here. I'm putting in some seasoning and a little bit of salt now this is about two 
seasoning cube if you're using your regular seasoning cube once you have that going in you're going to properly mix this well you want every ingredient to marry each other until you have this lovely lush buttery mix now for our chicken the first thing you want to do is to put that buttery mix underneath the chicken yes the video looks messy but this is the best way to do it if you don't like to mess up your hand you can use a kitchen glove however i chose to do it this way because i feel like glove sometimes inhibits that's a personal preference so you can use a kitchen glove you want to put this underneath the skin and also inside the chicken now you can see the way i'm doing this make sure you put this generously you don't want to be stingy with this marinade put every single thing inside and then you're going to nicely brush to remain marinade over the chicken now you can see me do this on the chicken breast i'm going to do this on the thigh on the wing everywhere needs to get this goodness guys you're going to also turn it to the other side remember we are grilling the full chicken so you don't want to grill only the top leaving the bottom with no flavor and you can see me do that shortly i'm going to flip it over and that's what you can see me do now i'm flipping that over and then we're going to do the same thing which Let's is to rub all of that now note that i did not open up the skin at the back of the chicken because it is bony and oh, where you have most of the flesh oh, is at the top yeah. of the chicken which is the chicken breast and the thighs that's the reason why i didn't have to I put it on the skin at the back of the chicken now here is our filling going in i'm going to start out with my yeah. onions first if i'm going in any particular order just make sure all your filling goes in you want to start out by putting little of everything so that you don't end up realizing that there's no space for the other filling that is also going to create some juiciness so you can see me putting the bell peppers now and then i'm putting in a little bit of the carrots so i'm just going to put in a little of everything first into that chicken and when there's space i begin to repeat that process all over again guys at this point put in whatever you like you can also put in a fresh herb like your rosemary or your basil everything is just for flavor guys be creative when you're making yours and once we have all of that in i love the way the juice is already coming out from the oranges or from the tangerines as you can call it <laughs> and next i'm going to look for a twine to tie up the legs of that chicken why we are doing that is because you want all this filling to be completely sealed in that chicken you do not want it to spill out while you are grilling guys so that's why we are doing this make sure it's properly tied as you can see me do in this video it's preferably that you use a twine rope so that it doesn't catch fire what i mean is if you decide to use probably a cloth that can catch fire and you don't want to avoid any hazard in your kitchen next is this foil i'm using that to cover the legs because usually the leg is really bony and it might get burnt in the place of breathing so you want to cover that up to protect it it's still going to grill so it's still going to be super juicy once that is done i'm doing one last rub on the chicken guys bake it in your oven for 220 degrees for at least 45 minutes and it's Let's ready make some magic. <laughs> guys this is the ultimate chicken recipe do this and nobody is going to argue that you actually oh went God. for a cooking class it's super good it's super yummy it's so I delicious guys i'm taking out the foil of the leg of that chicken and you want to see how juicy this thing but first of all just look at the size of this the skin the juiciness can you already tell that it's full of flavor now one thing i should mention is as it's grilling you want to still base it with that buttery goodness so that it keeps the skin moist and the chicken super tasty now i'm going to be cutting this guys just look at how lovely it is it is well cooked it looks super yummy i'm just going to cut it just so you guys can see how lovely and how well cooked it is it can slip it off my board that was why i'm holding it and guys just look at this see? let's make some fully cooked guys fully cooked and i'd like to show you some here to show you how juicy this looks look at the juice already oh, now i'm going to oh, press yeah. the side of that chicken can you see that just look closely can you just see all that juice guys this is so good 